been your main sort of gig over the years? Uh, the, the last, well, I mean, freelance work all the time when I was younger, but the last 10, 11 years, probably mm -hmm. a lot of show work, like pit orchestra work. Okay. With uh, the shows coming through okay. Perth. And then some, some touring work that's been overseas with some of those shows. Yeah, which yeah. shows in particular? Uh, kind of some of the bigger ones were like Wicked, Lion King, uh, I think last year was Aladdin, and then just recently did Book of Mormon. I know you've played with a lot of, lot of bands, um, a lot of studio sessions. How has your sound changed? and what you look for in a bass tone. Yeah, I've, I used to be a little bit more, well, actually I used to be exclusively more back pickup kind of guy. Because I was always going for that clarity, uh, that barking mid-range, mm -hmm. but I really go there now. It's mainly pretty much. I mean, depending on the, the style of music, but I, I really can't remember the last time I just pretty much played straight back pickup. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and with your EQ settings in the active mode, for instance, like, do you have a benchmark that you start with and work with? Yeah, I don't, I don't want to give, because really with EQ, I mean, I've once heard, it's like you want to actually think about subtracting mm -hmm. more than, than adding. So sometimes people think, Okay, let's put a lot of bass. We'll get the bass. Oh, now I need some mids. Yeah, oh, now I can't hear it. Let's get... yeah, it's just yeah. like it's out of control. So sometimes to get more tops, you want to think that, okay, if I want to get more tops, let's say that's flat. Okay, if I want to get more bass, sometimes if I take those tops off, Sounds like there's more bass Absolutely. in there, right? So you just can be subtracting. So then you add a little bit of bass. And now that sounds like there's yeah. actually a lot of bass. Yeah, but, more but a lot of it, yeah, a lot of that can, can be by subtracting frequency sometimes right. and adding. With like finger placement through different songs, like with musicals, I gather there's a lot of different songs, like different styles. Yeah. Um, do you use hand position, Absolutely. your right hand position to that's change a, that? That's a great question. So if I'm pretty much set up, my usual is kind of flat, treble sits back a little bit and the bass is almost kind of like three quarters or on the Yamaha, I like the bass sound on the pickup so I'll put that up. And then my hand position could be here. A bit, more, a bit more cut. But. Yeah, absolutely. And that's, that sounds like I've kind of adjusted something on the bass, but really um, you're just doing it with your hands by your hand placement. So I kind of hover over this P pickup on this bass and then something warmer. And I don't fiddle too much. So I set and then I basically set and forget. Great. So if I was uh, setting up, I pretty much have uh, both pickups on, a bit of bass, I'm in active mode here, maybe wind back the tops a little bit, and then that's my sound. And then I just. It's kind of like a very different sound just by the fact that I've moved that. Yeah. And with the flat wounds, um, I guess that would help get your sound and also you probably transfer that to round wounds and, and different types of basses like fretless basses and stuff like that. So, uh, Yeah, uh, fretless I'm using the round wounds, not so much people kind of always yeah, seem yeah. to use flats on fretless but Absolutely, I actually use yeah. the round wounds more on the fretless I think. Yeah. You have to get a bit more bite or yeah, I think so. Yeah. More, more clarity. Actually, nice sustain too. You know, mm -hmm. when you're using vibrato uh, on the fretless, obviously it's kind of more expressive than a nice kind of slow vibrato. Uh, but I, I kind of went back to flats because I started on flats. Okay. They didn't have round wounds when I first started. Yeah, yeah right. Well, I didn't know about them. Yeah. Many years ago. Yeah. So I'd had <laughs> flats, and then then I went to round wounds for a long time, and then I kind of re 
rediscover flats and went back to them. I, quite yeah, I think like a lot of a lot of guys out there, a lot of girls are, are coming in buying um, flat wound strings, uh, short scale, medium scale. I think we've sold yeah over the last year or so yeah the most yeah, yeah flat wound sets that yeah. we ever have yeah, yeah. interesting yeah isn't it? resurgence yeah. yeah yeah of that sound yeah I just like I, I like the feel feel of them also they actually can be I think people think they're easier to play they can be actually a little bit tricky to play I think sometimes your fingers oh, yeah, tend a bit to sticky yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. which yeah. I like I like the challenge of that yeah great. Right.